Do your kids leave your cast iron or carbon steel a bit of a mess? Here's some simple tips on how to help them. Hi, I'm Jed, this is Cook Culture. I'm a huge fan of getting kids in the kitchen at a young age, teaching them basics of how they can look after themselves for their entire life cooking wonderfully healthy and nutritious food that they can cook for themselves at home. And this is starting them young and teaching them that it's really quite simple to do all these small things that makes for great meals. One of those things is looking after cast iron and carbon steel. I know a lot of people that hide their cast iron or carbon steel or at least their egg pan or that special pan from their family because they're terrified of the seasoning being ruined. I get that. Nobody wants to have a thrashed pan when you've spent so much time to make it just absolutely perfect. But does that need to be the way that it is? I'm going to do a little video here with my daughter, Chloe, and we're going to go over the simple ways that I ask her to look after my pans or our pans when she's been using them. So here we go, into the kitchen with my daughter. Okay, so my daughter has just made a really quick scramble. Uh, we don't actually eat eggs in the house, um, but the idea here is what we're trying to do is that, you know, if a kid can make a scramble eggs, which is a pretty simple dish, you know, what are you gonna do when a, a pan is left over? Okay, so you finished cooking, this is awesome. So what would you do now? Put water in it. Okay, so you'd fill it full of water? No, I'd just like, where the gunk is, I'd like put it up to that level. Okay, and then what? And then I'd leave it for you to clean it. <laughs> okay, so in our household, that is exactly what I've asked. So my daughter cooks quite often. She'll make all different types of things. It can be sometimes a little bit sticky. She loves to make like tofu and different things. And it can leave a residue, which is totally fine. Usually it wipes out really easily if you clean it right away. But what I've asked her to do, so to, if she's in a rush or whichever, is just put water in the pan. Put like you know, an inch, half an inch of water and let it soak. People get really concerned about soaking cast iron. If your pan is really well seasoned, you don't need to worry about it. It will be totally fine. It can sit there for hours, which is great. So it's kind of like the same of cleaning it when it's hot, if things come out. If you put water in it, let it soak, it's gonna be fantastic. Really easy to stick it to the sink and just wipe it out and put it back on the, the heat and then post season it. But today, what we're gonna do together is that my daughter's gonna learn how to do it with chain mail. So you finish cooking, and now you're gonna to go to the sink and you're gonna clean it out with chain mail, yeah? And so what we're gonna do is, you know, how much pressure to use? Are you gonna ruin the seasoning? And what are we gonna do? So we're gonna move over to the sink. Here we go. Okay, so Chloe has taken the pan into the sink. She's now just gonna run some running water and use her chain mail with this a night light sort of feel to it. And she's going to just get any of the residue off of that pan. and it just really easily comes off. And then she's gonna give it a rinse. She's not gonna use any soap. And she's just going to give it a quick little scrub and a rinse out. And then she's going to get this pan back onto the heat. And we're gonna give it a little bit of a post seasoning. So here we go. Okay, so that pan is nice and clean. She hasn't damaged the seasoning whatsoever. And now she's got it on a nice high heat and it's going to take all the moisture off of it. You could wipe some of the moisture out too. I like to know that once the moisture has all evaporated, then the pan is hot enough to apply the seasoning. You can use a tiny bit of grapeseed oil. Uh, today we're gonna to be using the Cook Culture seasoning wax. Uh, that is a combination of grapeseed oil, uh, sunflower seed oil, and beeswax. And so once the, all of the moisture is gone out of the pan, which just will be a sec, then she's gonna be applying a small amount of the paste all over the pan. And then she's gonna turn off the heat and her job is done. So here we go. Okay, so she just applies a very, very thin amount all over. And the pan is hot enough. That's going to polymerize. We don't need to see billowing smoke, no big deal. And that is all finished. Okay, so the pan is just creating a tiny bit of smoke, but it's nice and shiny, perfectly done. It's now gonna sit and cool. It can stay on the stove top and she is done. So you've done a fantastic job. Thank you. Um, so letting your kids use your cast iron pan, even something as beautiful and high end as a stargazer that I have here, 
you know, it's super, super easy to look after. You know, like I said, when she's in a rush, I ask her to just put a bit of water in the bottom. It sits there until I can do it for her later. Or if she gets home later on, she can do it for herself. Um, but, you know, if she's got the time, a quick rub out in the, in the sink, a really quick post seasoning, and it is done and perfectly ready for the next use. So there we go. Any questions, any comments, please throw them below. Thanks very much. Bye.